Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this amateur welterweight competition, sponsored by Sweat FA. First, a fighter standing in the blue corner. This fighter is 30 years of age. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 76.2 kilograms. He makes his debut this evening, hailing from Bridgewater, Lee Crazy Horse Nielsen. And across the cage in the red corner, this fighter is 36 years of age. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 76.2 kilograms. He too makes his debut this evening, hailing from Cheltenham, Stuart Hellum! And this bout is held over three four minute rounds. Here we go at another welterweight amateur contest. We have Lee Nielsen versus Stuart Hallam. Yeah, by the looks of it, they're both debuted to the cage and we're going to pick apart this fight and see how they both get on. Both guys seem really up for this fight. Yeah, damn right. I mean, by the looks of it, Lee's wearing the ankle shorts and the knee pads in the bad boy shorts. So Lee Nielsen coming in named as Crazy Horse. I was meant to get a fight a guy called Charles Crazy Horse Bennett back in 2005. If Didn't you get through customs. Nope. <laughs> well, let's so, not go into that. But I think this oh. crazy horse. Oh. This crazy it, horse is on the back foot at the moment. Well, he got caught with some shots and he's looking a little crazy now. Yeah, Stuart really came forward and they were solid shots. Stuart looks a lot more composed, I think. Yeah, more methodical and. Crazy horse looking a little crazy. Well, there we go. <laughs> He's really beginning to goad him now, but it seems I, I, I really wonder where he got that name from. Well, I mean, we'll probably work it out by the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, Stuart's really calm and composed, and looking in his corner, he's yeah. got Mark Weir. Do you know what I, I was just going to say? He's got a very, very experienced corner with Mark, the wizard Weir. And he's probably been uh, given some clear instructions as to his tactics for the fight. And, and Mark Weir's the kind of guy you listen to as well. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so Stuart, Stuart dominating the centre of the ring. Crazy horse jumping around. He's expending oh, a lot of energy. Was and that was left a big Yes, indeed. And another one. Yeah, he's really just coming over the top of that shoulder. Yeah, uh, no choice there but to try the takedown. But look at that. Oh, is that going to be a standing guillotine? It does look like it, yeah. That looks very, very tight. He's going to struggle because he's not got an arm out to tap with. Both his arms. Oh, he's got one arm out. He's doing the right yeah, thing, pushing, pushing on the back of the elbow. elbow. I mean, Nelson, he's got heart. We'll give him that because that is... Uh, it looks like it's solid. There is an arm in on that guillotine choke. Yeah, but there is an arm in and there is space there. So he's got his head to the right side. I think this is going to be difficult for him to finish now at this point. He's got his head out. There yep, we and go. And there we go then. The crowd are loving that. The crowd are loving this fight. I mean, look at all the guys stood up. You know, for the people at home, we've got half the room stood up on the feet, edging the way towards the cage. Oh, big shots. Big shots from Crazy Horse. And yeah, Stuart's going to really have to watch that. And by the looks of it, he has been tagged. I mean, both, both these guys are fielded a few shots on the chin. You can see a little stall in the action now with both holding. But I think Stuart needs this to clear his head. Yeah. Referee's in there. Well done. Yeah, nice, a well timed break that. Let's get the action going again. Let's see some more of our action. Yeah, we want to see more of this. Was that, was that Nelson being hesitant just then? Yeah, for the first time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's thinking twice about coming in now, which he wasn't at the start. But yeah, he's... I mean, Stewart is so composed. You know, to say he's took those shots, he's been under a fair bit of pressure, he's very, very composed. Yeah, I mean, Nelson, I mean, whether it's through, through uh, exhaustion or tiredness, he's, he's dropping the hands a little bit there, which it can be a telltale sign, but... 
Uh, not just that, he drops his hand and says, come on, and it's always a sign of someone who has been tagged. You know, you're not gonna sort of call your, your opponent on if he's not really hit you with anything. No, we kind of had a, a little bit of a Mexican standoff with regards to trades. I mean, Nelson yeah. is going for a few isolated so, uh, leg kicks A lot there. of the crowd here coming up right up against the fence. Yeah, they are up for this fight. They do seem to have expelled a hell of a lot of energy yeah. early in that round, and they're both the paying for it now. Yeah. The pace slowed down significantly there towards the end. But I think that was a certain round for Stuart Hallam, but a lot of back and forward action. Yeah, easily, easily. I mean, the pair of them, like you say, with Nelson just then with those flurry of punches, if one of them was a little bit harder and a little bit sweeter, Stuart would might have had some bigger problems. Okay, so both getting instructions off very experienced cornermen. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think the cornermen uh, are saying to St Stuart right now? Well, I think Stuart needs to do more of the same, but just be a little bit more assertive. You know, he's dominating the centre of the cage. He's moving around well. He's firing the shots, in, but he's just not doing enough. He needs to just be a little bit more assertive and a little bit higher pace. Yeah, you, I mean, you're totally correct there. And let, let's hope but this uh, next round really starts to show some more dictatorship within this fight. OK, so here we go with round number two. It I think we've got Stuart Hallam one round up at the moment. It has been an action-packed round. There's been a lot of back and forth. But like you say, Stuart has shown that much more uh, dictatorship and uh, controlling with regards to strikes. Here we go, round two. Let's see some more crazy horse. I like the crazy horse. Yeah. I mean, Stuart, he's not, at the moment, he's not on his toes. It's a... Uh, no, and, and, and you probably should be if you're waiting to counter, but Crazy Horse, look, he's got his hands up tight. He's obviously aware he got tagged with some shots in the first round. He doesn't want to get caught again. Stewart is the much more organised looking, you know. The, the, the one who gets disorganised and, and sort of gets a little bit wild is Crazy Horse. Yeah, he... Um, that was a shot to the groin there. These single shots. Keep going. What, uh, the referee hasn't stopped. Keep going. The referee hasn't stopped. There was a little accidental shot to the groin. Yeah, the referee like was just transitioning around behind the Stewart there to get a better position. And, and as that happened, Nelson just came with a little flick to the groin there, which... Yeah, it was only accidental. I think, I think Stewart was just maybe wanting a rest. <laughs> so this is... I just now he's see, starting to get some action going. That's what I want to see Stewart going. being a bit more assertive. You see, and he could get a finish in this he's, fight. He's throwing that left hook and they are landing. But there is a little bit of a glove and a hand in between that chin. Yeah, he's got a very decent left hook. I'd love to see him follow it with a nice straight right hand, a crisp right hand. I mean, at the moment, Nelson is trying to keep him at a little bit of distance with these singular leg kicks. And well, I think Hallam's letting Nelson into a fight that he, he should Nelson into a fight that he shouldn't be in. You know, when, when you see Hallam be a bit more assertive, land those shots, it's just totally one-sided. It is, and I can see I, I, Nelson doesn't I really have an corner, answer for that question. Certainly, I, I imagine his corner are very frustrated watching it. I mean, we could pick up, we could pick apart the negatives of this fight. I mean, with regards to Stewart, he's when Nelson does come forward with these kicks or these strikes, uh, Stewart is moving straight backwards, and but the, the, but the work is coming from Nielsen. Yes. You know, Hallam's just letting him work. He's firing the shots in. Oh, and that was a big haymaker. He's just too hesitant, you know. I mean, in this fight, Nelson is being the more active of the combatants. So, I mean, he's, he's winning this round. Nelson's winning this round and purely he's on, because it, he's working. Yeah, he's on the outside. He's moving a lot more. He's getting that lateral movement going and then taking his singular shots. And, I mean, and that was that. a brilliant it, yeah. shot there. It, it, Nelson is just stealing this round and he doesn't look the most organised. You know, but he's just getting in there and he's firing shots and he's actually working. Hallam is just... He's, he's, he's he walk, is. I mean, look, he's trying spinning kicks now because he's been given that much space. I mean, Hallam, yeah, he's coasting at the moment. I want to see him do more. He is controlling oh. the centre of the cage, but 
He hasn't got to move as much. He, 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 for the last minute and a half, he's done nothing. I don't think he's really thrown anything. All he's done is fielded leg kicks and that big right hand. I really want to see some more of those flurries like we had in the first round. Certainly. And then it will start to shake this fight up If he's up not a bit. careful, he's going to lose this fight and he's just going to throw it away. He had a great platform. A brilliant platform to start with. And now we're seeing him do something. That's what... Oh. <laughs> Now that's a mistake of giving you back in an MMA fight. He's, you know, his technique's not good, he's got his legs crossed. It could be pretty dangerous for yep. him. Um, um, his forearm is just resting above his chin, but I think he's just trying to reach. Yeah. Yep. Ah, there so he there goes. he goes, he taps him out of the face, but he's looking there. Nelson is disappointed. He's jumped upon a cage. Um, he mm. looks very happy. I think he's got, a, he's got a lot of work on, a lot to work on, however, he spotted that opportunity and he took it, and you can't take that away from him. Exactly. Well done. And it's, 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 yeah, it's Fighters to the centre, please. Away, yeah. He just threw it away. Ladies and gentlemen, eighth bout of the evening at three minutes, 38 seconds of the second round. You're winner by way of Rinneke Choke. In the red corner, Stuart Haller! Put your hands together for his opponent this evening, the one they call a crazy horse, Lee Nielsen! Right on, sir. Stuart, let's have a chat, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick word with Stuart if that's all right. Big, hey, make some noise for the crazy horse! Cheers, mate, thanks. I, I love him. Um, I mean, did he confuse you a bit at a point? He just gasped really quickly. I don't know what happened to me. I mean, it looked like, to be honest, I mean, obviously, we know where you come from. Obviously, you've got Mark Weir in your corner, so we knew you were going to be a very controlled fighter, very calm. You looked like he wasn't going to phase you, um, but there were, there were moments there where it kind of, it seemed you didn't really know how to take him. Yeah, it was. He's very awkward and orthodox. You find they're the hardest ones, you know, you don't know where he's going to come, he could do anything and at the end of the day, obviously, you caught him with the rear naked. Um, at one point, we, did, we didn't know where it was going, so obviously, you've got to be pleased with the win um, and the patience paid off. Yeah, it did in the end, but to be fair, it was tiredness, but I was always um, confident oh, in my nice. finishing. Rear naked so shots, I did more time in training. Oh, yeah. so. Well, like I say, great corner, obviously, with Mark, great fight here. Please give it up for your winner, Mr. Stuart Howe.